189 life. Oh, that feels so good. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code itresolves 10 yp for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another gameplay video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend uh, and I'm really excited to jump into this one. But before we do that, just a quick reminder, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. It really does mean a lot. It goes a long way to support us. But not only that, you're actually entered to win a free draft booster of the new Neon Dynasty Kamigawa set coming out. Uh, we're going to be announcing that winner on February 23rd. It's a great way to get your hands on some awesome new cards and they're free. So it's a great way to do it. But regardless, List, guys let's talk about today's deck this is a silly one uh this is my own uh naya token slash landfall deck so uh if you watched yesterday's video you'll notice what we did was kind of bring together life gain as well as landfall into a particular into into kind of one big shell of a deck uh and it was really fun it it worked pretty well surprisingly as well uh which is kind of interesting uh so i thought you know what let's sub out most of that life gain we still have a little bit uh but instead go a tokens route with the enchantment sub theme uh as well as including a little bit of landfall uh if that's not enough for a deck i don't know what is so here's what we came up with uh it's a bit of an interesting one so the red is really only in here for the stenzia uprising that's really it uh we just want to be able to throw out a creature token every single turn and if we need to we can nuke something for seven of course with this as well but the rest of the deck is fascinating so we've got a little bit of ramp between lotus cobra and prosperous innkeeper that's really just to ramp us into turn four a little bit quicker and you'll notice in turn four we've got both hollowed haunting as well as the felidar retreat both really good four drop enchantments uh both going to spit out tokens for us as well uh and very very interesting long term but in the three drop slot we've got not only a little bit of a removal package so we've got minimus containment just a nice way to kind of deal with anything that we need to, as well as borrowed time. Uh, either one actually deals with basically any permanent we need to, gets around indestructible. The only thing it really doesn't get is uh, around hexproof, which is okay, because there's not a ton of that going around right now. Uh, we do have wedding announcement. Uh, so between this, this, and this, uh, as well as technically this, we should be getting quite a bit of tokens just from the enchantment side of things. However, on top of that, we also have Scoot Swarm, uh, which is an obvious include for a deck like this. Going to hopefully spit out a lot of insects for us. Now, Wedding Announcements, when it's flipped, uh, is going to buff up our entire team, which is really nice. It's a nice little anthem effect. We've seen this in action. Uh, last week, we played a little uh, Boros enchantment token deck, uh, kind of similar to this. Uh, but I think the inclusion of green, not only giving us Scoot Swarm, but also the life game from Prosperous Innkeeper could really make a big difference for us. So we're going to try that. Uh, we do have Ranon 7 as a two of. This is just to power out something really, really big. Uh, we do have a little bit of ramp, as I said, so it's nice to be able to get this out a little early. Hopefully, get that big uh, tree folk reacher down uh, and be able to either attack in or just leave it there as a bit of a wall so we don't really have to worry about too much pressure from the opponent. Uh, now we do also have Amiria's call. This is fantastic because not only does it spit out some tokens for us but it gives all of our non-angel creatures indestructible until the end of the turn and that could very well be a big big game changer so that might be a very powerful option. We also have Turn Timber Symbiosis, uh, not a card I usually get to play, uh, to be honest, it's mostly for the land side, but it is actually really good. We've got a lot of uh, creatures that we'd like to pull out, well, not a lot, but we do have Scoot Swarm mainly, uh, and so this just seems like an easy include. If it if it works, great. If it doesn't, it's okay. Uh, and all that to say, this deck is going to be phenomenal, I think. I hope. I have been practicing with it a little bit. It's fun. It's really, really fun. Uh, our land drops are a little interesting, kind of skewed, uh, obviously, towards the green and the white, but we do have a little bit of the red in here. We'll see. Uh, I do want to make sure we can hit this on four if we get there, so we'll see if that actually pans out. But without further ado, guys, let's jump right in. Let's have some fun with this one. It's going to be a really good one. 
All right, guys, here we are for game number one. And yeah, this is a pretty easy keep. Uh, this is a turn three Felidar retreat, which is fantastic, or a turn three Scoot Swarm plus land. Uh, kind of an interesting thing there that we can do, especially with that Prosperous Innkeeper. So that is going to help us out quite a bit here. Now, we are going to expect to see a number of burn spells from, from an opponent with a Hellhound. They're probably going to try and get stuff out of the way so they can get in for the stronger attacks early. So I, do not, I don't really expect the keeper to stick around but regardless uh if it does it's going to gain us just a little bit of life which could obviously be very helpful uh i would love to draw just a natural white source if we do that we can actually just throw the wedding announcement down and kind of be in really good shape there so we'll see what happens they are going to attack in uh with both here we're just going to take it just going to take it all right uh interesting place to be here so uh hmm how do we want to do this, I guess, is the question. Uh, again, I do expect them to have burn. Ooh, we can drop the Prosperous Innkeeper, drop land, then drop Wedding Announcement. That takes us off of white entirely. Uh, but I do kind of like that play. This gains us a good bit of life in the process, uh, which is pretty helpful. Yeah, let's go ahead and go this route. I don't particularly want to drop the Scoot Swarm yet because uh, the chances of us actually um, keeping it around are pretty low to be honest but this does get us back up to a natural 20 life which is pretty solid uh and uh, of course eventually that wedding announcement is going to flip which is good uh and even if they burn some stuff out here we kind of have some outs uh as in this is going to just provide us with more creature tokens over the long term of the game so i mean we'll see it may not work out but i definitely want to give it a shot i'm just gonna take it just gonna take it and oh, wow unfortunately still no uh white source here that is going to be a problem for us the good news here is we can actually attack with two creatures what this allows us to do is draw a card off of that wedding announcement and that is our natural white source so that is very helpful fully expect scoot swarm to go down here um maybe not maybe not maybe not I left this up as a blocker for the Hellhound, by the way, fully expecting that's going to do quite a bit of damage, uh, and it looks like we're not wrong. So all too happy to block with this little 1-1 one -one just to save us a little bit of damage here. That borrowed time can come in handy. We can certainly get rid of some stuff, so we'll see what we need to do here. Uh, I would love to get Felidar Retreat down, but I think we just have to uh, kind of deal with some stuff. All right, so let's do this. Oof, rough, rough. All right. That is fine. Uh, there's another natural white source, actually. That's kind of good. Um, all right, let's do this. It's going to gain us some life, of course. Uh, and I think we just have to go this route. Uh, the borrowed time, not exactly amazing, but we are going to get an extra little 1-1 one -one here. Uh, I'm going to not attack. Uh, and this does flip, obviously, as well. So now, uh, unfortunately, we still can't block these, but we can hopefully deal with this. We'll, we'll see. Um, gaining that life is very relevant, though. While well, they have their own Scoot Swarm, not a surprise, of course, but uh, a little unfortunate. Ah, well, I think that's just game, unfortunately. We cannot block these, uh, so they really just kind of have us here with the Evolving Wilds. Not much we can do about that. Ah, oh, we were close. I think we were a turn away, because uh, what we could have done is dropped counters on all of our stuff to get it out of range of this, uh, which would have been fantastic, but... Unfortunately, they just have us here. Good game, opponent. That was a very quick one. Two landfall decks going up against each other. Let's see if we can do a little better in game two. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, again, I think we can keep this solely on the basis of Prosperous Innkeeper giving us that treasure token to get us into the wedding announcement territory. If we draw any number of lands, we should be pretty well set. Uh, and yeah, I think this is a pretty easy one. So let's go for it. Gonna lead on the planes because we don't necessarily have to make a decision on that pathway yet. I want to prolong that uh, to the best of our ability, at least. Uh, and it looks like we're able to. So that's nice. Um, all right, let's do this. Let's drop out that prosperous innkeeper now. Uh, just going to guarantee us that treasure token. Fully expect they can fight this innkeeper off. Not a problem. Uh, it, it is what it is. I'm not terribly worried about that. But this guarantees us the turn three wedding announcement. Whereas if we had played that Lotus Cobra, they could very easily just fight that off and be done. Uh, and that's not really ideal. 
I'm gonna say no blocks, hoping they don't just kill it. Okay, and they didn't. That's very good. Uh, kind of surprising, actually. All right, so if we do this, uh, we then get a land plus that. So yeah, that actually kind of works. Um, now the question is, do we want to go for the borrowed time here or just the wedding announcement? Uh, both of them are reasonable options. I think we'll go... I'm trying to think, next turn we actually just drop Ren in 7, I guess, don't we? Uh, with that in mind, I think I am going to go borrowed time. This should slow them down sufficiently. Um, not a massive play by any means, but what this means is they have to play another creature before they can fight anything off, get some counters. That's a pretty big slow uh, tempo play for them, so uh, we'll see. We also do have the land here, so we can, like I said, drop Ren and Seven a turn early, get that counter down, uh, or get that tree folk down, and then just have a really big play after that, so um, I think this works out okay. Well, they might have a land here, and they could fight something off, which would not be good for us, but... We'll figure it out. That is certainly one of the better cards they could have. Uh, that is not as good, so that's fine by me. Let's do this. Uh, we'll add green. Go ahead and drop that red and seven now uh, and spit out our five, five, uh, four, four, excuse me. <laughs> Uh, and we do gain a life in that process as well. Again, Prosperous Innkeeper, if that thing sticks around, man, you gain just that incremental life really makes a big difference. Now, it may not make as big of a difference long term, uh, but hopefully it'll work out. Keeping in mind, guys, when this video goes up, Faceless Haven will be banned, by the way. Uh, and so you will not see this if you were to try this deck uh, or, or by the time this video goes out, this is going to be gone. So just keep that in mind. Uh, we intentionally did not include any kind of banned cards in our list uh, for that reason, so just keep that in mind. Uh, thankfully, if Lotus Cobra sticks round, uh, we've actually got double wedding announcement coming up, uh, which will drop two tokens, gain us two life, uh, and hopefully, hopefully make a pretty big dent. Uh, or uh, put, put a pretty big wall up at the very least for our opponent, which is very relevant. Alright, I assume they're going to fight off this. Yes. Okay, sure. Perfect sense makes, uh, I mean, I get that. Uh, here's the question though, what are they gonna attack? Is it gonna be the Renan 7 or is it going to be us? Uh, looks like it's just gonna be us, in which case I'm not gonna block. I'm gonna risk it. Uh, may not be the best play, but it is a play and I'm okay with that. Um, Really love Scoot Swarm here, but not quite yet. I don't think we are quite there yet. So let's do this. Get that. Let's do this. And let's do this. So now we've got a series of expendable tokens for ourselves. That's really going to help us out. We also get three lands off the top for that Scoot Swarm next turn. Uh, that is certainly a good option for us. And here, this is the best part about this, is if they are one for wanting stuff, we are now ahead on that. As in, we can just freely block some things, not be a problem, and we'll be set. Uh, now this is getting very big. That's a danger for us. We can't do a lot about that. Uh, if we put one or more counter, they put half them. Okay, uh, that is definitely scary. They are going to take out Red and Seven. It looks like, um, and just attack us. Sure. Okay, uh, we do have answers for this in our deck, um, so we'll see if we can kind of get there with that. There's another wedding announcement. All right, let's drop this. <clears throat> gain a life. Let's do this, which is also going to gain us some life. Uh, we'll go for white here. We'll play another wedding announcement. Um, now, here's the fun part. We could gain quite a bit of life here, if we would like, uh, by just leaving this up. Alternatively, we can draw some cards, which would hopefully get us an answer to these kinds of things. But I think the answer right now has to be no attacks. Um, I think we kind of have to manage that pretty pretty safely here. We can throw away these guys, but we can't. We, we need that board to bolster ourselves up here. So I think that's just got to be the play. Okay, at least they didn't have a fight spell. That's actually pretty important for us. Um, Ooh, this is going to be a close one, I think. Uh, now, these are going to get out of hand very quickly, uh, but we might be able to make something happen here. We'll see. I assume they start throwing counters on uh, Vorinclex. That just seems like the best play. 
up to a 10 10 um yeah we're gonna have to take 10 not much we can do there uh another prosperous innkeeper that's actually very good for us so let's do that let's drop land this is gonna gain us quite a bit of life hopefully uh we'll just go green it really doesn't matter um problem is this is going to get a lot of counters next turn uh, but I think we just have to attack here just to gain some card draw if nothing else now they just get to block and kill these that's fine I think we're dead next turn I I think we don't have an instant speed way to deal with the Vorinclex that's the problem maybe we should have tried to draw last turn um, but the reality is we wouldn't have been able to then block uh, with anything um, we would have been able to block but it would have been a bit of a tricky situation so we'll see um crucially they have those faceless havens which can get in for an attack as well just keep in mind though again these are banned at the time of the release of this video so i just want to make sure everybody is aware uh they can take the the two tokens out that's okay um this draws us three cards oh no oh wow okay well what a series of bad draws unfortunately all right uh we if, if we're lucky we can last a turn but i highly doubt we can do it um we're gonna have to block a lot uh which is very scary we can kind of throw away the lotus cobra here which is kind of fortunate we don't need it um all of these are now going to be able to throw a, a counter on something and they double up the counters on that boring collect. So we're pretty dead here. Um, they are going to go ahead and attack in just with the boring Clex. Okay, so this is 16. So we need to save four damage. We can save four damage. Uh, one, two, three, four. And that gets us to one. Am I correct in saying that? I think that's correct. Uh, next turn we can Field of Ruin, activate Field of Ruin, get double activations off of Scoot Swarm, double the life gain as well. We also are going to be flipping the wedding. No, we're not going to be flipping the wedding announcements. They don't get counters. Of course, that makes sense. OK, uh, a borrowed time. Man. That's that's truthfully the only card I think that would even remotely get us out of this. Uh, but the reality is they can give something trample now with this. Uh, and uh, I mean, there's not much we can do about that, you know? Uh, I mean, this all looks well and good, but it's truthfully not. We're we're just dead here. Uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of this. <clears throat> I mean, this does give us a lot of stuff, but it's just not enough. Uh, unfortunately, we can get a green source here. It really doesn't matter. <sighs> so sad. Uh, we do get three tokens, I suppose, unless we want to draw some cards, but I think we can't risk that. We do get to play Lotus Cobra here uh, just for an extra blocker. <laughs> but this thing is, I mean, this thing is absolutely massive. There's really not much we can do about that. Um, yeah. This is kind of cool, though. I mean, you have to think if they did not have Vorinclex, what would we be looking like right now? You know what I mean? And it's actually not so bad. <laughs> um, because here we're going to gain two more life. The wedding announcements are each going to gain us two more life. Um, I, I mean, we went from one to like back up to basically 20, if not more than 20 in a turn and flooded the board pretty heavily. So it's like, you know, we're we're doing OK. It's not great, but it's fine. Uh, now, again, I'm not going to attack here. We're just going to take some tokens. I love that the wedding announcement still works despite uh, like it still spits out tokens and things like that, but it doesn't 
get the counters. So it's just going to be a continuous uh, token generator for us or card draw generator. Uh, either one is great. So I will happily take it. Um, what a game. This is a really interesting game. Our opponent kind of playing a bit slow here, considering they really don't have much they can do at the moment. Um, I mean, look at that. We're back up to 21. It's so sad because this gives me hope, but I know we don't have any hope. <laughs> they get six counters on that Vorinclex every turn if they attack with it. I mean, uh, what are we going to do about that, you know? They also just have other ways now with the pack leader to, uh, to deal some damage, so... Now, crucially, they tapped in a way that they can't do this, so that's helpful. I guess they can throw counters on it if they want, but I think the safe play is definitely the Boring Clex. All right. Uh, we can survive another turn. Um, <laughs> this is so silly. All right, so we can kill that. That's useful. Um, if we just block three, that puts us... really don't even have to block that many. If we block two, we're down to one. They can't activate this. Uh, so we're back down to one. <laughs> but I want to get the maximum number of Scoot Swarms because if we can get extra activations there, then like we're kind of okay. Like, eventually, we outpaced that. Back down to one. All right. <laughs> this is such a ridiculous little uh, little combo thing that we've got going on here. Oh, Red and Seven. Red and Seven's pretty good. All right, so here's what we can do. Hear me out. Hear me out. All right, check this out. <laughs> All right, look, you listen to me. We are going to have a massive army of Scoot Swords by the end of this turn, and I am not going to misclick like I did in the previous video. We're doing this for real. Now, I could drop this and just drop a Tree Folk token, but we're not doing that. We're instead going to do something much worse. All right, let's do this. All right, let's drop two lands. <laughs> All right. And we didn't have to put any counters on this. <laughs> this is so stupid. All right. Now we could actually attack in just to draw three cards and refill our hand here, which I think is probably the correct play, given that we are gaining enough life to get out of range of basically all of their attacks. Um, I think that's going to be the play. If we win this game, if I'm not saying we will, but I'm saying if we do, I will be astounded. Um, all right, <laughs> we got this. <laughs> oh my God. Guys, this is amazing. All right, but we do have to get some math in here. Uh, resolve all, we just keep doing this. If it ends in a draw, it ends in a draw. I don't give a crap. All right. No, I know, just keep going. We can do this, please. There is an end to this. Like, this isn't an excessive stack. I know. Just do it. Do the thing. Resolve all. Resolve all. I hate this. Like, we're 10 triggers away, really. I mean, more than that, I guess, but it's not that many. Like, we're at a point now where that's kind of ridiculous. Um. <laughs> so I think we definitely attack in with two Scoot Swarms. That'll draw us some cards, and then we just have a lot of Scoot Swarms up for block. I mean, they can't just attack in anymore. That's kind of the fun part. Like, 
If they attack in, they will lose foreign clicks. 100%. I'm killing it. No doubt. We will block excessively to kill that thing. Alright. Resolve all. Last one. Resolve. Just, just do the thing. All right, we're at 81 life. <laughs> With 48 scoot swarms. About to be 46, but that's not the important thing here. We're drawing three cards off of this. That's the important thing. I'm really kind of happy they didn't uh, allow us to flip these because it's kind of working out for us on this turn at least. Uh, all right. <clears throat> That's what we needed! And we got two of them! <laughs> That's exactly what we needed. All right, we got this then. If they can't kill us this turn, which I highly doubt they can, we are golden. We got this. We can get rid of Orinclex, 100%. All those counters that they put on there will be gone. We can even get rid of the other Mammoth that's like a massive 8-8 right now. Ooh, very good. So I guess the question becomes, do we even block? Um... This actually gets rid of Toski as well, which is kind of important. I guess we do block just to kill it. Right? I guess that's correct. <laughs> I think that's probably the right play. Um, can we just do this? I'm just going to do this. They can order blockers. <laughs> Let's block it with 40. Like, that should be enough. Just in case they have a combat trick. <laughs> Just in case they have a combat trick. This is the dumbest game I think I've ever seen. Uh, at least on the ladder. This is hilarious. They did have a combat trick! <laughs> I'm telling you! That doesn't matter. Vorinclex is gone. And we still have a substantial number of Scoot Swarms. Oh! Amazing. Alright, well now, we can actually start to do some stuff. Alright. So Vorinclex doesn't shut us down anymore, which is extraordinarily important. We're definitely getting rid of that Toski, I think. Um... <laughs> Oh, I should have dropped the Felidar Retreat. Well, that was kind of dumb. Uh, that's fine. That was just a misplay. It's cool, though. We got this. <laughs> Not even worried about it. <laughs> if you are not liking this video right now, I mean, come on. Like, I don't know what else I could do for you. I get I could have played a little cleaner here, but this is... This is great. This is good quality content right here. I'm just gonna say... Oops. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Let's get rid of Toski. Let's... Let's get rid of this. That's fine. I don't... I don't care. Uh... I really don't have to get rid of the big 8-8. Truthfully, this would make more sense, but uh, this, this is fine. Um, can I activate this? No. Oh, I can! Oh, I have a treasure token. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, cool. Let's do that. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of reasons why this is so much better, because now I can... Oh, we have one basic left! Yes! I knew I put basics in this deck for a reason. Alright. Cool, you did it. I'm just gonna... <laughs> uh... I think we... I think we win. Or at least we're gonna win. <laughs> I know, it's fine. <clears throat> this is my favorite. This is my favorite game. We did it. If this ends in a draw, it's cool. We know we won. We got it. I know. Ugh, I hate that. 
Like eventually we just hit the, the token cap anyway. Um, so it's really not that big of a deal, but I mean, we are at such a high life total. We were at one at multiple points during this game. There is always a chance of winning. That's all I can say, guys. There is always a chance of winning. I, I'm in love. I think that's all this amounts to. Uh, this is just amazing. That's all there is to it. Hopefully they just like, time out. Like I want to win this game fair and square, uh, but also this is just awesome. So. <laughs> This is just stupid. Um, it's a good thing we didn't have Stentia Uprising because like we're well past 13. <laughs> 13 permanents. <laughs> Worth noting now, the wedding announcements do flip at some point, uh, which is relevant because it does power up our entire board, uh, which turns out is pretty big right now. <laughs> Uh, do we, I think we just attack with everything. Like I could not attack with the Pros Prosperous Innkeepers and that's the correct play 100% of the time. But I'm kind of at a point now where like we got the life total and this is just slowing the game down. I'm kind of for uh, just attacking with everything. I thought we were so dead. This game has gone on for an excessive amount of time. Our opponent used another timeout. They might just time out here. I can't believe we got this to work. I, I mean, this is astounding. This is great. Opponent's still timing out. Do we just win? Let me let me just win. Come on, <laughs> you got this. Just perfect. Resolve all. Resolve all. We're almost there. We got this. And then everything's gonna get a buff from the Felidar retreat. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Jesus, that was loud. <laughs> Holy crap. All right. Uh, well, I mean, we're not gonna win. We'll just attack with these. <laughs> just to, just to see. All right, opponent, block, do it, kill some stuff. It's the, it's the right play. Uh, there's no way we lose this game, right? Like, we just have it. <laughs> cool, you killed some stuff. Good for you. I'm so proud. The trick is I kind of don't want to play another land because that's just going to prolong the game even more. But I also kind of want to because it's awesome and it's going to prolong the game even more. <laughs> so... <laughs> We're at an impasse. Um, they also only have six mana. So I'm curious to know what they could have. I mean, Vorinclex is good, but not 189 points of damage good. All right, we got them back down to 28. These, oh, these are all gonna, oh no, these are gonna draw us cards. Okay, I was about to say, if these spit out more creatures, I swear. Could you imagine if we just draw three more lands and then we zero out, well, and we zero out this? All right, all right, that's really sick. Yeah, they drew a land. <laughs> Please attack me. I'll double block with the Prosperous Innkeeper just so we don't have to uh, make this a bigger deal than it is. <laughs> They're just uh, activating the Ranger classes because that's all they can do. Never concede a game if you think you are uh, going to lose. This is point and proof that you can still make it happen. Heck yes. 
189 life. Oh, that feels so good. All right, let's talk about this deck. All right, guys, so the ceiling of this deck is exceptionally high. Uh, but don't count on that when you're playing it. It was very random that that happened the way it did. That was certainly the goal of the deck from the beginning, but uh, obviously that's not going to be the norm every time. Regardless, it is very, very powerful and obviously has a lot that we can do with it. I mean, between the tokens, the life gain and the landfall, you have options to stay in the game. And as you saw, even when you're at one life multiple times in a game, you have options to stay in the game. Uh, and so I couldn't have been happier with that. That was fantastic. I absolutely love this one. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like or a comment down below. And of course, make sure to subscribe if you are not already, uh, not only to support the channel, but to enter the giveaway. So until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Thank you so much for watching.